It was a dreary morning when Clive Atkins was murdered. The police found the body but didn't know what to make of it. Chief Davis decided to call me Lance Quinn. Everyone knows I'm the world's best private detective. I needed to get a closer look at the crime scene, so I got my handy tools from the car. I looked around and I found the bullet, and it came from a gangster's gun. Clivax Atkins left only one heir. Her name was Belle. I decided to ask her some questions. I could tell Belle was distraught. She told me she knew nothing of the motive for killing her uncle. I needed answers and I needed lunch. I only knew how to get one. I ate my slice while thinking about the case. Something didn't add up. I found myself ambushed by two thugs who told me to quit investigating or else. I told them investigating was my job. I'm a private detective. They weren't happy about that at all, which meant I had some fighting to do. A few seconds later, I asked one who he was working for, just as he was shot. The one who shot him was a gangster in gray who said it was his boss's orders. I told him no criminal escapes Lance Quinn. The police couldn't figure out why a gangster would kill a rich man like Clive Atkins without robbing him. They were too late to stop the gangster from getting inside. Chief Davis explained the situation to me. I told him I had a plan for how to catch the perpetrator, but I would need his help. The gangster met up again with his boss, the heiress Bell. Chief Davis found himself outgunned with, until the criminals realized I had outsmarted them. I told Chief Davis how only one person stood to gain. Bell had been hiding some sort of letter which was similar to the one the gangster had. 